Hi, my name is Lotte Wilms and I work for the Impact Project at the Koninklijke Bibliotheek in the Netherlands. And today I will be introducing you to the Geometric Correction Toolkit, which has been developed by our partner NCSR. Well, why do you need geometric correction? Um, well, sometimes when you scan a book page, um, it has been warped a little bit because the book doesn't open properly or it, it has been damaged due to humidity. And then the um, lines on the page warp, which is bad for the OCR. And with geometric correction, you straighten the lines. Uh, so where does uh, geometric correction fit into the OCR workflow? You can either do it uh, before you start the whole workflow, so when you still have a color image, or you can do it when you have a black and white or a binarized image. And um, in this application, um, it does make a difference what you use. Um, because if you, you start with an image and then it does the course correction, which is uh, a low cost transformation, and you end up with as output with something called C image, then um, the it looks if whether the image is black and white, and if it isn't, so when you've used a color or grayscale image, you get the final output. But when you use a black and white image, it also does the fine correction and gives you uh, as final outputs CF image. So that is a coarse plus fine correction image. So let me show you an example. I can just go to our project website and where you can find all our web services. If you'd like to know more on how to reach these, please visit our website digitization.eu. And today we will be using the geometric correction service. It gives me the web services and I can just click show operation inputs to get the input. I have my image in uh, a text file so I can just go to the text file and copy my image and paste it in here. And then I just click show results and it will give me the results. So the results are in. As you can see it gives me some information about the process and it also gives me an output URL which I can click and it will then give me the output. Uh, and as you can see this is much straighter than what we started with. Um, so we can put them next to each other and I've drawn some lines to, so you can see that the image on the left is much more warped uh, than the image on the right. The lines on the image on the right are much straighter and uh, it looks much better and the OCR will also be much better. So how do we evaluate the geometric correction? Uh, well this is for version 3 which is the previous one where we've used an image set of almost 15,000 single column images with a visual inspection and we use both coarse correction and coarse and fine correction and where one is bad and five is good and five is the lighter blue one in this image and that gives us an average of 4.2 with coarse correction and 4.5 with coarse and fine correction. Currently we're in version 4 where we evaluated uh, against ground truth which is the correct text and segmentation and we compared it to other currently available tools on a set of 420 randomly selected historical images um, and you can see that book restore which is the other currently available tool is green on the top then we have the impact page code correction course and then we have the impact page code correction course and fine so that has improved a lot well, thank you for your time. If you have any questions or would like to know more about the geometric correction, please visit our website at digitization.eu.